Okay, so module two and three, we're getting into probability. So 2.1, we're just gonna look at counting events. Um, but we have to start with the factorial. So we're gonna see a factorial in some of our equations and formulas. So it's the product of all integers less than or equal to a given integer. Maybe you've seen this before. It's seven exclamation point. But in math, I would say this is seven factorial. So I take what I'm given, seven, and then you multiply all the way down to one, times six, times five, times four, times three, times two, times one. So it's all integers less than or equal to the one you're given. Okay, so if you go in your calculator, there's a couple ways to do this. You can type them all in by one. It's also a function. Exclamation point is a function. It's a factorial. Or you can just type it as an exclamation point and it knows in math it's a factorial. So the answer any of those ways is 5,040. Okay and then factorials work just like our other um, equations when we're simplifying you follow order of operations so I would do 8 minus 3 first and then take the factorial of 5 so 5 factorial is 120 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 So we use factorials when we're counting another way we count is using the fundamental counting principle which says if there's a certain way to do one thing and a certain way to do another thing, then we multiply those to see the ways we could do both things. So if a restaurant offers four types of sandwiches, three types of sides, two types of desserts, and five different drinks, how many combinations are possible? So instead of going through one by one and saying this sandwich, this side, this drink, over and over and over, we would just take 4 times 3 times 2 times 5 and it'll tell us no, I can't remember 3 2 5 so there are 120 possible combinations on their menu that's called the counting principle.